In this episode, I'm going to share with you some of the modifications I've made to my desktop CNC. And I'm going to also talk about why you might want to do these modifications and even get one of these yourselves. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. Wanted to share some modifications I've made to my desktop CNC. Now you might remember I got this at least a year, maybe even two years ago. Uh, I've got a complete playlist on this. I'll have uh, either a card or a link below to that playlist so you can check it out. Did a complete build on it, but I've been having a lot of fun with this guy. Now one of the things if you're thinking about getting into CNC uh, machining as a trade or even as a hobby, this is a great place to start. It's very low cost around 300 bucks maybe even a little sub uh, gives you all the generalized experiences of the CNC world working out cam strategies etc uh, so very capable little machine for the money however I want to talk to you guys today about some of the mods I made and why you if you have one of these you might want to make them too or if you're gonna get one why you'll want to make these mods so one of the things I did I've done a review on this micro vise before. I've got a number of them. I use them a lot because they're super handy. You can mount different attachments to the top of it. But what I like for this is basically being able to take a piece of material uh, like this um, high density uh, plastic block, just drop it in there, tighten it in, and boom, there I go. However, when I went to put this on to do this, one of the problems I ran into was it didn't clear the gantry. So I came up with a nifty new idea. And that's really one of the big things I want to share with you in this episode is this design modification I made. So what I did is I went off to OpenSCAD and I designed these brackets. Pretty simple little bracket. But what I also did is I took two uh, 20 by 20 V slots cut them you know in half mounted them using the standard mounts but then took the gantry placed it in the middle and used this to cinch this all together it's a super strong fit and as you can see what happens is I've gained this amount of height to the gantry as a whole and I actually have this much more height I can add to the gantry so if I need to go even higher so this is a pretty cool modification and it is still rather stable it's actually very stable so it actually locks in and cinches between these two so I've been pretty happy with this and you can you can see I want to pull this down a little bit so I can get this centered you can see the clearance I still have more clearance to go up here but you can see how far this clears this um, and again, I can drop in different size blocks in here and really go to town uh, in, in all kinds of different materials. Now, one of the things also to mount the vise is I whipped up or 3D printed some adapters that actually go in the vise uh, right here. And what I might do is actually put together a package and throw it out on Thingiverse where I have all these. Because I've got the individual parts out there, but what I might do is a mini CNC or desktop CNC package. So because I've done these... Uh, which uh, use T-nuts and goes in and kind of fits this. Now, I can loosen this up and adjust this vise on this, this bed too. So kind of handy. I also did um, some slots here, some four slots to plug the holes. You do have to pop these in to slide this out because there are T-nuts in here that don't rotate. So that works out well. Also, while I have it, what I want to do is show you guys the feet I also made. These are also up on Thingiverse, but again, I think I'll do a, a just sort of a desktop CNC package uh, with these. And so you can put a rubber foot on the bottom. You put, you know, like I think it's an M5 through here or number eight bolt uh, and thread it in here. And then, hey, Bob's your uncle. So this has been working out to be a great little machine just for, you know, knock around projects. And it is actually pretty productive. I think one of the things I can't remember if this is a triple five or a 775 motor. Uh, but it puts out some pretty good power. I'm probably going to do some upgrades to this in the future to get a more, to, to probably get, uh, you know, like a 400 watt spindle and build an adapter to go in here to hold it um, and maybe even machine uh, a little bit bigger piece to come out and hold it. But really, so far, this has been doing most of the work. It's just a little bit slower. You just simply can't go as fast as you can, you know, with, with say, a 400 watt spindle. But having this vice, I really love this because what I do is I go on the bandstand saw I cut my material down lock it in the chucks I can also you know uh, come up with a set of jury rig parallels to rise this up rise this up raise this up um, I know somebody some of the grammar police would have got me on that one uh, but you know anyways very very versatile 
so hopefully you found this interesting and if you have one of these uh, these are some great modifications to make in previous videos I talked about uh, how I put these extended uh, V slots on here to give it a bigger uh, base I also have in the past uh, if you look in the playlist I've installed the laser you can actually do a laser and I've got the parts out on Thingiverse for the laser too so if you have one you can have both CNC and laser so really a super functional machine that I'm super happy with so anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did hit that bell button down below so you're notified of new content when I put it out don't forget if you're not a subscriber already please subscribe I put out regular content if you have questions or suggestions do you have one of these have you made modifications let me know down below maybe I'll copy you maybe I'll put them on the channel anyways because that's what it's all about here is I really like to share what what I do with you guys and also what you guys share with me so I'm always in the mood to learn something with that swag shops up there and we'll see you guys in the next video where we do something else cool cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel